Remember what he did a moment ago with an 8-5 of spade against the other amateur. He came right over the top after Mike Vela raised it and took down that pot with just the 8 high. Could he be contemplating making the same kind of move again against Mike White? Well, he is going to get stubborn. He's going to make the call. He's going to gamble here. Feels like he's getting a good price to do so. Let's see what happens. Here we go with the flop. King 8-7 with two clubs. Mike White now has the nut flush draw, the ace high flush draw. Tom, of course, has nothing. Action's on him. Good check. And he is going to check it. Let's see if Mike White will do the continuation bet. He's four flush, but wow. no. He slows down. He checks. After I'm raising. surprised by that. Ooh. But it's certainly going to work out well for him because the five of clubs comes on the turn. He now has the ace high flush. I like that check he did on the flop now. Well, if you knew that was coming off, it was a great check. Didn't chase his player away, and now it's on Tom Dwan. Still has nothing, but... When you have nothing, and your opponent checks on the flop, sometimes it entices you to go after it. Well, not this time. He has checked again. Let's see what Mike White does with almost a cinch hand at this point. He's going for chips. Oh, he's going to check the nut Very flush here. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> he's going to hope Tom is going to bluff at this pot on the river. Ooh, and a 10 on the river gives Tom Dwan a pair of 10s. Well, that's the way this hand's been played. Tom Dwan's got to think two 10s are the best hand. Absolutely. Guy didn't bet on the flop. He didn't bet on the turn. Wouldn't shock me if Tom tries to get a value bet in here. Mm -hmm. Or at least what he thinks is a value bet. Well, he looks like he's getting chips out, and oh. he is going to contribute to the construction fund. Well, he bets 190000 that is just music to Mike White's ears. I mean, that is just what you play for in poker. When yeah. You've got almost the absolute nuts, and the guy's betting into you. Yeah, look at this, Vince. He pulls down the sunglasses, puts his head down. He's going into summer stock acting school right now. Mm -hmm. We know he's going to raise it. It's just a matter of when and how much. There is. He is going to raise it. Okay. Finally, the words come up. Tom Vaughn sits up in his chair. He doesn't like hearing those words. But he's going to make it 700000 to go. And right now he's saying his prayers. Please, you young whippersnapper, come over the top of me. At least call this bet. So weird. He has no idea how unweird it is. You know it's a really weird way it is, right? You have a 10 8 or something? Keep going there, Tom. Keep guessing. Kind of really fast. It's 10 8, same, 10 7. It gets a lot worse. Nice hand. Well, he does make the right decision and get away from that hand, but I can assure you he's very curious as to what Mike White had on this hand. His two checks on the flop and the turn induced Tom to bet on the river. Wow, very clever poker play he made right there. Oh, well, Mike's fan club is growing, Vince, and why not? You're going to have plenty of friends when you take down $1.7 million. Such a weird raise, man. That's nice time. Did you have it? Did I have what? It. It? I was born with it, baby. Oh. There's confidence oh, wow. growing here by our chip leader. Cards being shuffled and dealt once again. They're around the table. Action's going to be on Mike Vela. Looks down at an A7, but won't play it. Down to Mike White, the chip leader, and look at this, Vince. He oh. picks up another big hand. Here he's got Ace-King. A human card rack at this moment. His wife is loving it, Vince. She packs his lunch every day. She's going to say if he wins this tournament, maybe I don't have to pack lunch anymore for a while. <laughs> Great. What a rush he is on, and yes, he is going to raise.